right, today we're going to move into mini proofs. And mini proofs are just that. We're going to be given a diagram and a statement, and we're going to use our definitions, our postulates, our theorems, anything that we might know to prove the statement is true, and it's a very short statement. All right, so here's what we've been given. We've been given two lines that cross, and the vertical angles angle one and two. And we're given that angle one and angle two are vertical angles. We're asked to prove that the measure of angle one is equal to the measure of angle two. Well, of course we know that, but how do we know that? So first we're given angle one and angle two are vertical angles. We write it down, why? Because it was given. We love that, it's an easy first two points. All right, so let me see. We gotta use the stuff that they've given us. They've given that they're vertical angles. Well, the definition of vertical angles just says that there are two angles whose outside rays forms lines. Yep, that's what they are, but that's not gonna help me prove that the measures are equal. But we do know from our theorem that we've already proved, we know that angle, that vertical angle, or sorry, that angle one is congruent to angle two. How do we know that? By the theorem we already proved, we know that vertical angles are congruent. Okay, now since we proved that, we can use that. That's our theorem, we're good. But we haven't proved yet that the measure of angle one is equal to the measure of angle two. But hey, we know that if the angles are congruent, then we can jump right to their measures are equal. And how do we know that? Well, that is the definition of congruent angles. Remember, if the things are congruent, then the measures are equal. That's all we need. We've proved what they said. We can put our little finality box, meaning we are done, and you've done your first mini-proof. And remember, you know you love math.